This is Honey Mustard, and you're watching Chandler Channel. Hello, Brucefs, and welcome back to Cooking with Chandler, a show where I make some of the world's finest cuisine. Today, we're going to be making a variety of pretzels. So the different type of pretzels we'll be making are honey mustard, ranch, and garlic parmesan. Let's get started. So first I'm going to start with the honey mustard pretzels. To make these we're going to need some honey, some mustard, some mayo, a little bit confused by that, um, some distilled white vinegar, and then some butter. Alright, let's get started on this honey mustard. So the tea about today's cooking video is I'm not going to measure anything because I'm feeling really brave. So I'm just going to put a glob of honey in there. Probably want it to be a little sweeter than mustardy. I don't know. And then I'm going to get some mustard. Just put a little bit of that in there. That's probably good. Probably a little too much. And then I'm only going to squirt a little bit of this in here. Because, like, I think it only calls for a little bit, but that was more than I expected. Alright, and then I just need to add some vinegar and uh, melted butter, and then we should be all good. Alright, so I just poured the butter in, now I'm just going to get this all mixed up. Looks pretty gross. Um, retweet if you agree. Okay, so I just mixed this up. I added a little more honey and mustard, just because I felt like it was lacking a little bit. Now I'm going to warm this all up together. Maybe like a minute, we'll see. Okay, so I stopped it at 30 seconds because it looked like it was like bubbling and pretty good. Um, it looks kind of bad, but it smells pretty good, so hopefully it'll taste good. Okay, so the next step is to pour the mixture over a bowl of pretzels because they're going to get heated up a little more. Um, that kind of looks bad. But yeah, I'm going to heat them up for maybe like 20 seconds and see if the mixture does whatever. Let's just like mix that in a little bit. I'm only doing a little bit because one, I don't know if these are going to be good. And two, because I have two other flavors to try. So, okay, so I actually ended up leaving them in for like a minute. They're sizzling. Um, I'm going to bag them up and get to the next one. Also, I taste a little bit of the honey mustard sauce and it's not too bad actually. So, 10 out of 10. And by 10 out of 10, I mean like 6 out of 10 maybe? I don't know. I don't know why I said 10 out of 10. Right, so the ranch pretzels are pretty uh, simple also. Just melted some butter and I'm going to add some ranch to it. This is one of those tops that doesn't have one of the squeeze things, so I got to be like really careful. And I feel like that's the beginning of me pouring this whole bottle in here. That looks good. So then I'm going to mix that up and heat it up all together. Um, so I feel like I definitely just committed a sin. Like, I, I don't know about this mixture. But I'm going to pour it over the pretzels and heat those up together. Um, fun fact, hot bowls are hot. Probably shouldn't have picked it up by my bare hands. So the ranch pretzels are done. Um, I cooked the um, honey mustard ones a little bit more because they were a little soggy and they needed to crisp up more. And now it's time to do the garlic parmesan. Okay, so I've got some half melted butter here. I just gotta add some cheese and some garlic powder and then it should be good. Also, fun fact, I'm using Italian style blend because we don't have parmesan. So yeah, this is fake. Okay, so I might have heated it too long. But I'm just going to pour it over the pretzels and add a little more cheese and then mix it all together. So this actually looks like snot and it's actually kind of hard to mix. So yeah, wish me luck. I ended up having to resort to pulling it apart with my hands and spreading it. So now I'm just going to heat it up a little bit more and get it all melted and mixed together. Alright, before we continue I'm going to say a quick word about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Butter. Now, if you've never heard of butter before, you're probably on the right track. Butter Chandler. is a substance that you Chandler. can... Hey! Dude! What? Yeah, can we not do this bit, like, 
you've done it before, it kind of gets old. Just not today. Fine, I guess we're not doing this bit today. Uh, back to the clip, I guess. I don't know. Alright, Brewsters, it is the moment of truth. We've got the honey mustard pretzels here, the garlic parmesan, and the ranch ones. So I'm going to taste each one, see how well I made it, and then crown one of them the pretzel winner. Let's start with the honey mustard. Um, yeah, so it's one big congealed mess, so that's already minus one point. So it's a little soft, not as crisp as I'd like it. Um, I think I might have burned it a little bit because the honey tastes a little burnt, but it's not bad overall. The honey mustard sauce was pretty good before I burned it, so overall I'll give it a good 6 out of 10. Alright, next I'm going to do the garlic parmesan. Hopefully there's enough garlic and enough parmesan. Already off the bat I can tell that they're definitely crispy enough. It's just a matter of, is it the right taste? Definitely got that crisp pretzel taste. Um, the flavor is lacking though. Like, it's good, but it's very minimal. So I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten. But like, if I had put more cheese and garlic on there, it would have been even better. And I've saved what I think is gonna be the best for last. The ranch. They feel a little soft but hopefully they're at least crispy enough. Okay, so they're definitely not soft, definitely crisp. It's got a nice strong ranch flavor. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10, cause it could be better, but still pretty good. So there we have it. We have ranch is number one, garlic parmesan is number two, and honey mustard is number three, with rankings of eight out of 10, 7.5 out of 10, and 6 out of 10. Alright, Brucefs, thanks for watching Cooking with Chandler, a show where I make some of the world's finest cuisine. Uh, have a nice day! Well, this list sounds as good as can be. I still feel like a kid with very big dreams. I'm too adult for it. That was too many. Yeah. Look at what I did, like, I just ruined pretzels. They're all burnt and stuck together and, like, nasty. Why did I do this?